Howard Johnson's permanent magnet motor. Returning to permanent magnet motors themselves, one of the top names in this field is Howard Johnson. Howard built, demonstrated and gained U.S. patent 4,151,431 on April 24, 1979, from a highly skeptical patent office for, his design of a permanent magnet motor. He used powerful but very expensive cobalt samarium magnets to increase the power output and demonstrated the motor principles for the spring 1980 edition of Science and Mechanics magazine. His motor configuration is shown here. Stator magnetic cylinder. Bar magnet. Rotor. Stepped pairs of magnets. Note that the gaps between the magnets are not constant width. The point that he makes is that the magnetic flux of his motor is always unbalanced, thus producing a continuous rotational drive. The rotor magnets are joined in stepped pairs, connected by a non-magnetic yoke. The stator magnets are placed on a mu-metal apron cylinder. Mu-metal is very highly conductive to magnetic flux, and is expensive. The patent states that the armature magnet is 3125, 79.4 mm, long and the stator magnets are 1, 25.4 mm, wide, 0, 25, 6 mm, deep and 4, 100 mm, long. It also states that the rotor magnet pairs are not set at 120 degrees apart but are staggered slightly to smooth out the magnetic forces on the rotor. It also states that the air gap between the magnets of the rotor and the stator are a compromise in that the greater the gap, the smoother the running but the lower the power. So, a gap is chosen to give the greatest power at an acceptable level of vibration. Howard considers permanent magnets to be room temperature superconductors. Presumably, he sees magnetic material as having electron spin directions in random directions so that their net magnetic field is near zero until the electron spins are aligned by the magnetising process which then creates an overall net permanent magnetic field, maintained by the superconductive electrical flow. The magnet arrangement is shown here, with the intermagnet gaps assessed from the drawing in Howard's patent. Position 1 Note that Howard Johnson did not draw the intermagnetic gaps as equal distances. Position 2. Position 3. A magazine article on this can be seen at http colon slash slash northeastwebmasters.com slash free energy slash small hyphen pg48.html.